Welcome to the last Freelance Fridge video tutorial about building your own figurine in 3D using ZBrush as well as how to render out a nice looking image and exporting for 3D print. In this last tutorial I'm just going to cover how to create a final color render using the renders that we exported in the last tutorial. If you'll remember from the last tutorial uh, I showed you how to make this nice lit render of the character and save it out. I also showed you how to make this mask that you can paste into the file and I'll show you how those work together to create a final look for the character. So in my final working file here you'll see I've got the mask in here and it actually lines up perfectly with the figure itself. So if I were to do uh, a selection here based on this mask, you can see that the dancing lines follow the figure exactly. So that's the reason for the mask file that I had you save separately. It just makes it easier to um, just makes it easier to paint the file itself in the long run. So you can see how I've set up this file is I've taken the original uh, shaded render and I've duplicated it and put it on top of all the other layers as a multiply. And so that's the shading that's over top of everything if I flip it on and off. And then all these other layers underneath are just the various colors of the figure. I keep them all on separate layers because um, if I'm working on a project for a client, they might ask me to change the color of his suit or the shade of his shark skin or something like that. So it's nice to have each one of these on a separate layer. The other thing to keep in mind is when I'm coloring this, I like to go into the palette here and choose a specific uh, Pantone color for each one of the colors because it allows um, me to have uh, Pantones picked that I can then refer to for the client as far as for the factory production when they're creating a specific color for the plastic mold and a specific color for all the paints. They want to know the Pantone colors so they can get it exact. So that's how you do it, and then you can save this as a JPEG or whatever you need. Um, you can even mask out this background area itself and just have the figure. That's all pretty simple Photoshop stuff. Anyone with a little bit of knowledge in Photoshop can do this real easily. So just a quick recap. I use a mask to create a selection around the character. I start painting all the colors underneath on separate layers. And then um, my actual shade layer on, is on the very top um, with a multiply effect added to the layer type. And that is it. I appreciate you watching all my tutorials. I hope it's been real helpful. And all the best in your personal work and your client work as far as ZBrush projects. You can do it. Feel free to comment in any of the videos. I appreciate it. Thanks.